Here is a less format that will ease your transportation, whether to land, above or below the sea, or even on air. Now without any further ado, let's dive into the video. Small ships adds a couple of ships to explore the sea. First, let's start with the smallest, and that would be the cog. The crafting for this boat can be a bit tricky. You first need to craft a sail like that, then use that sail to finally craft your cog. This boat is noticeably larger than the vanilla boats, and will not require any type of rowing thanks to the sail, which you can deploy using R in your keyboard. It is super fast and have a capacity of 108 inventory slots, basically the equivalent of two large chests. Now to the galley. The crafting recipe here is not that hard, and as you can see, this boat is multifunctional and can be moved with rows as well as the sails, or boat even. It is quite faster than the previous boat, but consequently has lower storage capacity. To get higher capacity, I would recommend crafting the brig. It can hold up to 16 passengers and have 162 inventory slots, and it's also just as fast as the cog. Now we'll talk about other things you can do with this mod. First thing, you can leash your ship. You can also place cannons to fend off any danger that may arise. It is also possible to adjust your point of view, which is super helpful. And let's talk about how this mod is compatible with other mods across the board. Mods like just enough items will help you craft the ships easily. And mods like the Physics Mod Pro will allow you to experience a beautiful dynamic between the ships and the ocean. All in all, this is a must-have mod and will surely promote your ocean adventures. Now let's ascend to the clouds above with the Simple Planes mod. To get started, you need to first construct the planes using the plane workbench, which you can craft. The aircraft here included the small planes, large planes and the helicopters. I'll be mainly focusing on the large planes on this list simply because they are my favorites. To get the plane going, you will first need an engine. There are a variety of engines you could use, the best being the furnace engine since it only requires coal to run properly. To fly this bad boy, you can press W to ascend and S to descend. Also, you can press space to maintain your altitude. If you wish to have additional inventory access in the plane, you can simply add a chest. It is also possible to make your plane amphibious by giving it a floaty bedding, but be careful not to land so harshly. If you want it to last longer, then give it a shield. It is even possible to turn it into a war machine by adding a shooter. There are many parts about this mod that will not only make it easier to travel beyond the clouds, but lots of other stuff that you may find useful. Immersive Aircraft mod added a couple of aircraft vehicles that are made with simple and non-complex materials. These new planes will help you explore lands very very far ahead, while being faithful to the vanilla feel of the game. Speaking of faithful, there is also a faithful texture pack that supports the plane textures in this mod. Nifty Carts is a gripping mod that adds a variety of carts to mount on your horse. Some of these carts can be used to transfer items, and I love how the items inside the cart will be visible on it. There is also the plow that allows you to farm massive landscapes very easily. And my personal favorite is the animal cart that makes it possible to transport animals. This is a very underrated mod, and I think you should give it a try if you are a fan of the medieval style. I don't do this often, but I firstly love the posters of the Curse Forge page of this mod. Now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about the Lion Lee transport. This mod will add all sorts of transportation methods from the 18th century. Not just vehicles, but weapons as well as suits. I like the models of the vehicles, and it baffled me how this mod was created using the M Creator tool. You'll enjoy playing around with these vehicles, especially since they are not complicated at all and will only require coal and water to run. With the Mythic Mounts mod, your transportation method will also be your best friend. Through this mod, you can tape a variety of mythical creatures. Some can fly very high like the griffin here. And some mobs like the ancient tortoise will allow you to dive deep in the ocean. And this thing will make you able to explore the vast lands. 
If you wish to have a breathe-in life transport method, then this mod is for you. Grim's Transportables is a simple mod that adds this easy-to-craft item in which you can mount a double chest for storage, or even a couple of your friends if you will. There are also few new rails with different functionalities, and ladders that will help you ascend twice as fast. Endless Ocean Aquatic Adventures is originally a creatures mod, but I added it on the list strictly for the jet skis. These transportables are very very fast that it can travel at a maximum speed of over 30 blocks per second. You can get it in a variety of colors based on your preference. I know jet skis aren't exactly fitting with the Minecraft vanilla theme, but it's a good way to experience new things outside of the comfort zone. If you're a fan of action, you'll love the Automobility mod. Now you can have a few race cars you can ride. They are extremely fast and quite dynamic. They're also quite easy to control. Just use W to accelerate, S to brake or reverse, and E and D to steer left or right. You can also drift using space. I'd suggest that you gather a couple of your friends and challenge them in a race using this amazing mod. Valkyria Skies is an immaculate mod. Now you can build your own ship out of normal vanilla blocks and turn it into an actual functioning ship that floats on the water. This mod is going to be your portal for limitless creativity. Just design any type of ship you would like and add this item to it and boom, it's a transportation method now. Damn bro, Minecraft modding community is getting crazier and crazier by the minute. Swashbucklers is a mod that heavily focuses on emulating a piracy team game through adding a couple of ships that you can craft. Some of these ships can have enormous storage and it is also possible to have cannons, but sadly you can't mount it on the ship, instead you'll have to manually shoot it, which can be easier but not realistic. I also love how the ships leave a shipwreck when being destroyed. Those mods will certainly add an RPG feel to the game, so if you're a fan of this side, here is the 100 RPG mods to add to your arsenal. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video my friend. See ya in the next one.